Today, we're going to talk about the JAWS laptop keyboard layout. This is a layout that I think is a little bit underutilized, but it's really important if you happen to have a laptop computer that does not have a numeric keypad. The numeric keypad is that at least 17 key keypad over to the right of your main keyboard that you'll find on most desktop computer keyboards and on some larger laptops. I say larger laptops and a lot of people don't like to carry around a very big laptop that has a numeric keypad on it. So if you are carrying a laptop that does not have a numeric keypad, the laptop layout becomes very important. It's important because if you need to be able to switch cursors, you want to be able to read the current word, line, or character. Uh, you want to be able to use the touch cursor. You can only do those things effectively if you have the laptop keyboard layout enabled. To enable the laptop layout, simply go to your JAWS window, open the options menu, select the basics dialog, and tab to the layout combo box. You can then arrow to select the laptop keyboard layout. Once you've selected that layout, the caps lock key will become your JAWS key. That's important for two reasons. First of all, when you're pressing and holding that key, the letters on your keyboard from J to the right become JAWS function enabled keys. And second of all, if you're in the laptop layout and you actually want to activate the caps lock or deactivate the caps lock, you need to double tap it. Once the laptop keyboard layout is enabled, the general functionality of your computer remains unchanged unless you want to use one of the features that I talked about previously. If you want to enable your PC cursor, you'll use caps lock semicolon. If you want to enable your JAWS cursor, you'll use caps lock P. To root the PC cursor to your JAWS cursor, you'll use caps lock apostrophe. And to root the JAWS cursor to the PC cursor, you would use caps lock left bracket. The other functions, current character, current word, and current line are also available. For current character, you'll use caps lock comma, current word will be caps lock K, and current line will be caps lock I. To simulate left and right mouse clicks, use caps lock 8 for left and caps lock 9 for right. And finally, to enable your touch cursor, you'll use caps lock shift, and semicolon. I know all of this may sound a little bit counterintuitive, but it does get easier as you practice. I hope it's been helpful for you to learn a little bit about the JAWS keyboard layout, and we'll see you next time.